Hello, hello, I'm making another video. I realized that my subscribers went down, so it is what it is. Really don't care, because uh, sister's been going through some stuff. Um, this video is really a long time coming. It's not my BG's, uh, BG series video. Um, that I'm going to be doing shortly um i have just had been having a lot that i've had on my plate this past week has been so busy it's ridiculous so literally i've had appointments from monday through friday and now i am done so i'm happy about that um now i have time on my hands to just deal with me my last day of treatment was yesterday, so woohoo for that. I'm very, very happy about that. Um, and the reason why I'm happy about that is because whenever you have radiation treatment, there are side effects to that radiation treatment. And maybe some of you, if anybody's still listening to my channel, um, if anybody has ever had to go through that, knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, because you have weakness, you have inability to be able to just do, you don't have the same quality of life when you're going through radiation treatment, um, because you can't move and do what you're used to doing. Um, it makes you very weak, very tired, um, and it, it's just not very pleasant. So thank goodness that I had my last treatment yesterday, so things can go no way but up from here. So I'm happy about that. The topic that I am going to discuss, to discuss today, the reason I say it's a long time coming, is because I noticed this a couple of weeks ago and I didn't say anything because I'm too busy to get riled up in childish bull. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is adults here, um, and adults can't act any better than they're acting but whatever um so this is basically and I like I said I have I have a very small channel no one really pays attention to it which is cool with me because I don't need to be in a spotlight because the thing that Misty does is I tend to stick to myself um I don't like to be out there in the spotlight even though people still have my name in their mouth and I'm like, people that I'm like, wow, why is my name in your mouth? But they still have my name in their mouth. And I'm like, okay. Um, so let me address somebody here. And the way I'm going to address it is going to be very classy, um, very full of style. I'm not going to be cussing and carrying on because, first of all, I mean, I'm not opposed to cussing. If I get annoyed, yes, I will drop a bomb. Um, but I'm a woman and I think that women cussing and dropping MF bombs and F bombs is, un it's not classy. You sound like you're a butch. You sound like you're ready to, you're a stud ready to go out and, and pick up a chick. It just doesn't sound right. A, a woman with a truck of mouth. Nah, that's not my style. Um, but what I will be doing is addressing this person here. Um, uh, to me, I, I didn't know I had any beef with this person. Um, but Brielle, what's your problem, bro? I mean, I saw a couple of weeks ago, I saw in, in somebody's room that you sitting around lying on me saying that I called your job and got you fired. And the only reason I'm saying something about this now, and this was weeks ago, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago, four is because, like I said, now I have the time. Um, you're not on my radar like that. So it doesn't cause me to be like, oh, what did he say? I got to respond to that right now and get all upset and stuff because you're not that important. Um, and I don't mean that in a smug way. Uh, it's just that you're not. Actually, none of you are. Um, everybody in the black sector, I mean, has their own agenda and what they want to do and who they want to go after. And that's cool with me. It's just not my style. Um, so 
I'll pop in once in a while on somebody's channel that I, I like them. So I'll be like, hey, what's up? But you won't see me there all the time. Um, but, you know, it's just not my style to be just always beefing with people. Um, but it's also not my style to be lied on and then just allow the person to just get away with it. So whether um, whether anybody hears this or not, this is on my channel and I'm going to address it. So whether somebody comes across this or not, it is what it is. But I don't appreciate that because the crazy thing about it is, you know, uh, Brielle's running around talking about, oh, Misty this and Misty that. Every time he pops up in a chat room, he, he got my name in his mouth. And it's like, really? I have a dude. I haven't spoken to you in about a year, year and a half, man. It's like, what? And then when the last time I spoke to you, I didn't have a problem with you. Um, I didn't know you had one with me. The only thing that I could see is that you're upset because things didn't go the way you wanted them to go. Um, you have this weird crush, which is fine. I mean, it's cool, dude. Whatever. Um, <laughs> you said that you liked me. Cool. But I don't have to feel the same way back. And that goes with everybody. Um, I never, the, the thing that I can say is that I never do mixed signals. Because here's what people say people say, well, I don't like this person, or I never like this person, or da 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 da. But they're guilty for throwing mixed signals around. Um, they'll say they don't like somebody, and then the next minute they're in their face throwing around mixed signals, throwing around uh, sexual innuendos and blurring lines. I've never done that with you, Brielle, ever. I told you straight up, the minute that you decided to start what you were starting, and I'm not the type of female to sit up here and be like, oh, well, he did this and he did that, and blah, blah, blah. You're the one who said what you showed in that picture. I did not run around saying that um, because that's not what I do. <laughs> um but you're the one who ran around telling everybody what you sent me. Um, and so I was like, oh, for real? Okay, cool. I mean, it is what it is. But you're upset because things didn't go your way. And I think it's kind of, you know, tasteless, tacky, and childish to run around after like a year and a half just because somebody doesn't like you back and you're running around lying on them in chat rooms, that just shows how bitter you are. It's like, dude, come on, get over yourself, really? And didn't you get a chick pregnant? Don't you have, like, a kid? Don't you need to be worrying about your kid and who you got pregnant rather than worrying about some chick that don't really consider you? I don't even, I don't even think about you. I, I mean, come on, I don't. I don't even give you a second thought. I never have. I respected you when you was on panels. Um, I did enjoy your intellectual input when you weren't drunk or getting on panels with no shirt on. Um, but I never really considered you twice. Um, and it's not something that uh, is personal. It's just I didn't. Um, and the thing that people feel about big people is they feel like just because somebody likes us we have to rush and like them too because they say they like big girls and big girls don't got much of a choice out here so if you say you like big girls that's good with me no 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 just because you like big women does not mean that I gotta like you it, it just it is what it is I mean let's be real here nobody in this world can sit up here and say that everybody that they ever liked liked them back because it, it, it just doesn't happen that way. I've like a guys and got no play. And I'm what am I going to do? Jump off a bridge? Hell no. I'm going to move on with my life. But for you to be coming around um, people's chat rooms after like a year and a half and still have my name in your mouth talking about some mystic call of my job and got me fired, that's pathetic, dude. That is so pathetic. And it's just like, Really? And why are you trying to put me out in the forefront like that when I'm in the background, honey? And I like being in the background. 
you know what I say to myself I'm in the background but every time I turn around somebody's talking about me behind my back and it's funny because I'm not even out there like that so <laughs> what is it about Misty what is it about Misty y'all come on <laughs> What is it about Misty that keeps people's hair on the back of their heads? It's like, especially the females, you know, I know I'm getting off track a little bit here, but I don't care. I'm supposed to be some fat land whale, right? But all these chicks got their hair in a bunch every time Misty comes into the chat room. It's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like, ah. Misty's here. Let's team up. Let's get her out of here. Like, what the hell, man? Uh, thank you. Thank you for the compliments. <laughs> I mean, these are low-level hoes. So, <laughs> thank you for noticing greatness when you see it and noticing that you're not. I mean, A, if I was a dirty glass and I was standing near a clean glass, I wouldn't want to be there either. So, I could kind of understand why a lot of these chicks don't like me, even though they don't have no real beef with me because I never did anything. It's just that I'm too real. That's that's what it is. I'm not a smile in your face chick. I'm not a kind of chick that just, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I'm not the kind of chick that's thirsty either. Um, <laughs> you know, you got all these chicks up in here, married, have kids. And they up here thirsting for every, and excuse me, if anybody who's my subscriber that's Caucasian, do not get upset because it don't have nothing to do with you. This is, I'm talking about the black sector here. But you see a whole bunch of Caucasian women up in the chat room. They got a man, but they phone sexing every black man that they can get up in these chat rooms, in, in these chat rooms. And you like, damn, girl, you that thirsty? And then they look for for validation. They're like, they put up their picture on there or they, they, whatever they do. And they want to be told that they're beautiful because they don't get this attention in their real life. And it's just like, are you are you that serious? Are you Are you serious? You're that pathetic that you have to get confirmation from people that you've never even personally met. So y'all are all validating each other in these chat rooms and on these hangouts and in these emails and, you know, sexing each other up and, and, and just, oh, you know, and, and it's not just to one person. I, I see if you have a connection with somebody and you're talking to them, but now this is to multiple people. Uh, and I'm the crazy one because I don't do that. I, 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 it just This is to multiple people. This is not to one person that you like. This is like uh, Tom, Dick, Harry, Richard. I, I'm like, oh my gosh, when does the madness stop? You know? Uh, so I could understand why, you know, when uh, I step up in the chat room, somebody who is real and don't do that stuff, it makes people uncomfortable, you know. So I, I can understand why a lot of these females get their hair in a bunch when Misty steps up into the chat room, you know. And I noticed <clears throat> in that chat room that I go to, this chick was talking and was real nice to me. And then this old toothless bat who doesn't like me stepped up in the chat room trying to uh, side diss me the whole time. The next time I come back into the chat room, the chick that was being nice is no longer nice because the old fool then went uh, and talked about me. Do you people really think I care? I don't know you. I don't care. You have no weight in my life at all. And, you know, I've been you know, accused of being called self-righteous or that I think that I'm better than anyone. No, I just deal in reality. Um, I do not mind sitting around and chit-chatting and talking with people. Uh, but when it comes to the point where you're getting on my nerves, I don't care. I'll sit back and laugh at you and ignore you. Point blank, period, because you don't, it don't matter. 
But the point that I'm making here is that it's funny how this so-called fat girl, okay, that needs to lose some weight, always got, uh, my mouth is always up, my name is always up in somebody's mouth. I, and it's funny because I don't care. And I'm not out there like that. But anyway, let me get back to Brielle. Brielle, boy, knock it off. All right, you got some issues going on. Um, you know, keep my name out your mouth. All right, boy. I I knew that you worked. And I'm not going to say I didn't know that you worked because you would come on a panel in your work clothes. So I'm not going to say that you didn't work. I think you worked as some chef, but I don't know where you worked. I don't know where you worked, and I really didn't care, to be quite honest. Uh, I did respect you for being a man that works. Uh, <clears throat> I just didn't care where you worked. <laughs> so to sit up there and say that I called your job, well, that's that's pretty much a... Um, that's a damn lie. Because I don't know where you work. I don't know the number of your job. And let's just be real here. I don't put that much effort into anybody. If I got beef with somebody, I'll tell them. And leave it at that. If I decide that I don't want to deal with somebody anymore, I'm not the kind of chick that sits around and goes, Oh, I don't like him anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make his life miserable. I'm going to call his job. I'm going to yell at him. I'm going to be at his house. It, it, come on. I'm grown. That, 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 that's what grown is. G-R-O-W-N. When does the madness end, people? I loathe females that do that. Just because they don't like a guy anymore, all of a sudden, they want to sit there and throw him in the dirt. They want to cuss them. They want to step all over them. They want to, uh, you know, drag them in the mud. No, 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 honey. No. My thing is, I'll leave you alone before I do it all that and make a fool out of myself. I leave people alone. I'm like, oh, what? It ain't working? You don't want to talk no more? Cool, deuces. You do you, I'ma do me, and it's all good. And I go about my business. And if somebody really gets on my nerves, I'll ignore the hell out of you. I could be standing one, two feet away from you, and and you, I wouldn't be able to see you. That's how I do it. So you got me twisted, bruh. You got me twisted. If I do that to people that I have liked before, ignore them. Why would I call and get my hair in a bus bundle for somebody here? I really didn't spend much time considering. Um, but, you know, if it makes you feel better lying to yourself about me, good. You go ahead and lie in your head. But don't you ever go back to another chat room and tell a lie on me. Because if you do, I know your Facebook page, bruh, and I'm going to be in your face. All right? It's going to be a conversation one-on-one, -on -one, me and you, and it ain't going to be pretty. All right? So don't sit up here and do that again, because if I catch you, I'm going to be in your face. All right? Good. Now, if you hear this, real good. If you don't have, who cares? And if somebody comes across and lets you hear it, good too. But it's out there. Um, pretty much leave me the hell alone. Don't be dragging me into any of this uh, black sector beef with what you're doing or whatever problem that you got with somebody else. Don't drag my name into it because Misty ain't out there like that. I got a small channel. I mind my business and I stay to myself and I like it that way. So keep my name out your mouth and leave me the hell alone. Okay. Perfect. Now, some people who are still subscribed and watching this or listening to this may not have a clue who I'm talking about. That's okay. But it had to come out. Next video that I do is going to be from my BG series. And I hope 
you like it. Have a good one and peace.